we're going to perform a dynamometer assessment of muscle strength. Now, if you remember, our classic manual muscle tests only test the weakness of the muscle and the timing of motor contraction and potentially any compensations. But to truly test the strength, we need to test the MVIC of the muscle. So in order to do this, we have a couple tools that we're going to use. One option, as we talked about before, is a, a luggage weight or a portable scale. We're not going to test with this right now because it doesn't hold or lock in the value. But the two that I'm going to show or demonstrate are readily accessible. You can find them anywhere. They're cost effective. and You can use them in the clinic to manually muscle test for strength of a muscle, MBIC. So the first unit is just a standard dynamometer. This is just a grip strength dynamometer. Most clinics have these. You can find them anywhere. But it's rigged a little bit differently than you would think. So if you take a look, all I did was attach two pieces of webbing around the base of the dynamometer. I then took a lashing strap, or you can use a mobilization belt that's in the clinic, and put that around the webbing. And then I took a second piece of webbing and put it right through the grip portion. So you can imagine if you have one part of the strap that's down towards your foot, and the patient's arm is through the other side, they can press up, and this can trigger the dynamometer and give a force reading. This is something that you can easily mock up and easily make from some tools in your clinic. I like to use lashing straps because they're easy to cinch down and they're lightweight, but most people in your clinic can just use a good old-fashioned mobilization belt. The next unit, and this is my favorite to use, it's only about $50 online, and you can find that this is a crane scale. So you can turn on the value, you can attach a mobilization belt or a lashing strap to the bottom, you can attach a strap to the top as well, and what you can notice is you can put this on hold, it's going to lock in the value. And then as I pull down on it, what do you see? You can see that the value now increases. It can give you a rate in kilograms or in pounds. It locks it in. It's a very reliable, both intra and intertester way to test the true MVIC or the strength of a muscle. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to set this up for an athlete. Now you can do this for any muscle in any testing position, but we're going to specifically show it for the middle trapezius muscle of the scapula. So the patient is going to be in a prone position on the table. And Aaron, go ahead and scoot just a little bit towards me. And I'm going to move slightly to the edge. They're going to turn their head to the contralateral side, and you're going to put them in a pre-testing position. I'm going to bring you out into this position. I'm going to rotate your arm like so and want you just to hold that. You want to make sure that the patient can hold the starting position. You can see that Aaron has a little bit of difficulty getting into that full external rotation range of motion. So I can test him either in full humeral external rotation or even in a neutral humeral position or both and see the difference between the two. Because it's easier for Aaron to obtain the position in a neutral humeral position, I'm just going to test in that for patient convenience and patient comfort. You're going to take the dynamometer and you're going to first turn it off, so make sure that it's cleared out, and then you'll turn it back on so you get the zeros on the reading. You can tear it and then hold the unit so now it's ready to test. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach one underneath my foot, and then the other is going to go right through the distal aspect of Aaron's radius and ulna. So I'm going to put Aaron in the pre-testing position, slide his hand through the device, position myself so I have a vertical pull, come in and provide any stabilization to the humerus 
or to the thorax that's needed. And then Aaron, I want you to slowly build up pressure and press up into the strap in five, four, three, two, and release. Looking for any compensations from the patient, we can go ahead and pull out the device and we can now see we have a reading of 3.4 kilograms of force. So we have an exact quantification of Aaron's strength. Easy to do, takes almost less time than your standard manual muscle test. We'll test one side and then we'll compare to the opposite side, generally looking for greater than a 10% difference in strength. Now, if you don't have this dynamometer or you don't have this crane weight that we're using, you can use a standard dynamometer from the clinic. Same setup, using a grip dynamometer, all you do is you flip this around, you have the top end up like so, the patient's then going to place their arm through it, you're going to put it on the distal aspect of their radius nulna, and they can apply that pressure and force. Now if you want a more proximal lever, well you can make your way backwards. You can pull it in towards the distal aspect of the humerus, and then you can apply the pressure, and Aaron can apply his force. If you want to put some attachments, you can take an attachment such as a, a handle and you can have the patient then grab the handle and press out. You can put a baseball in their hand. You can do any type of thing that you want to simulate or mirror what they need to do in their sport. But the most important thing is that you get that quantification, that MVIC, and then you compare it strength-wise to the opposite side.